this time on Highway Through Hell. Expecting the worst. A tangled crash. Hey, oh, get caught, stop. As Jamie's team. A lot of pressure. On the edge. A blacktop whiteout. He's got everything stopped here. Uh, puts James in a tug of war. Come on. Okay, boys. And twisted wreckage. That's no good. Tests a family effort. Oh. On a bustling road. The canyon is today. No fall warning in effect. Early December in British Columbia's Fraser Canyon. Really slick down there. The low elevation highway God, escaping. is hit by a rare blast of white. The canyon is a major route. If you have white oak conditions, that spells disaster. What the hell, there's probably one having issues. Just after 1 p.m. The road's closed. Uh, a crash in a notorious spot. This particular area sees trouble every year. In a 30-ton record, multiple vehicle lineup. Jamie's lead operator, Greg Mulligan, has been dispatched. Sounds like a pretty big job. Greg, he's really becoming the right-hand guy around here. We're expecting the worst. Also heading to the scene, in a second wrecker, mechanic Brian Rash. Got to be on the left side. Greg's going to be running the controls. I'm just here kind of as a swamper do-all. That's not good. So he is pinched up against him. First thing that I notice about this job is it's kind of technical. Pretty bad. Yeah, it's, it's hooked. They're actually locked in together. Stopped traffic brought the pickup to a halt. Then a loaded transport. Slammed into it. That is quite the mess. Hope nobody's hurt. There are no serious injuries. But the crash is on the edge of the infamous Spasm Bridge. We've done a lot of wrecks on this bridge deck. You look right down there. 350 feet above Spasm Creek. I hate this bridge, it's spooky. Oh. It's a crash site like no other. If you have a problem on that bridge, there's no coming back. Today's accident, just feet shy of the bridge deck. Any idea what the old up in here? Is blocking the westbound lane. Feels like a lot of pressure. The canyon is a major, major thoroughfare. This recovery has to happen in a hurry. Does anyone know why we're going down? On the canyon highway, wow. Greg stares down a tangled situation at the edge of Spasm Bridge. These two trucks, the challenge is to get them separated without causing any more damage. What is that, timber? Lumber. What do you think I will back up my truck? Um, it's not just as simple as hooking on and pulling it off. That's what I wanted. With a second pair of eyes on sight. Oh, that's fine. Greg, we'll get Brian's take. He has some tow experience. Very easy to work with. Hey, Brian, have a quick look at this and 
Brainstorm with me, see what you think is best. Okay. Adding to the stress, the pickup involved. But, um, he's catching him somewhere. Is no ordinary four wheeler. It's not a straightforward hook and drag. It's a railway maintenance vehicle, custom kitted with unique gear to service tracks. These rail service trucks, they're a complicated thing to move. It's wedged in. The tractors from bumpers actually in one of the toolboxes of the railway truck. Oh, a line of it. To get the highway flowing again, Greg and Brian will gamble. OK, why don't you try reverse so I can see what's going on? On a little truck whispering. And he backed out of this, and hopefully it's just a simple separation. Recruiting the semi's driver. Just try and get as straight as you can. To see if they can coach him clear. OK, now go. Get her. OK, hold. There you go. OK, stop. Stop. But the rail truck's toolbox. Now go back. Has the rig. Stop. Stop. Completely snared. He's unhooked from it, but the minute he clutches, he rolls back in. The thing isn't moving, ain't happening. Pull him back like that with the wheels cranked. Yeah, I let him straighten out himself. Yeah. In order to separate these two vehicles, we need to pull this guy out with a winch line. That should be good, Greg. Attacking from behind with a wrecker. How heavy? You're right maxed out? 57,000. OK. Greg tightens his lines to try to finesse the fully loaded semi clear of the railway pickup. They're not like normal trucks. They have complicated equipment on them. Don't release no brakes yet. OK, now they can release them. He's got to do it with some thought and some care. OK, get her. We don't want to waste any time on this job, but I don't want to cause any damage either. Greg's steady approach. Oh, yeah. Wins the day. You're disconnected. That's pretty good. With the accident untangled, Brian drives the railway truck to a safe spot. That's what Highways likes to see. Clear it as quick as possible. Moments later. You got this guy down the road. Greg has the transport ready to go. I'm happy that this job is done. The team. Let you go, man. Can put Spasm Bridge in the rear view mirror. Greg does very well under pressure. I wish I had five more guys like Greg. I think everybody's just happy to get going. Two hours west in the Fraser Valley. Aggressive towing's 50 ton rotator. By the sounds of it, we're working in a tight area. Is on the move. The rotator will probably come in useful. Operator Chris Mervin. Go up there, take a look. Heads to a suburban call. We're on a fairly busy thoroughfare in the city. There's tons of traffic moving back and forth. Oh, Arriving on site. He's hanging over the edge. Holy hell. Merv quickly sees. The situation is touch and go. It's barely hanging on where it is. It's a little bit precarious. Loaded with asphalt, the truck is teetering above a water-filled ditch. He was trying to back out of a driveway here, I guess, and undershot it. Joining Merv. Wow, OK. Is his longtime swamper, Jordan Comerford. I can't believe it didn't roll over. Almost put her in the Brussels sprouts right there. 
That's going to be tricky, that's for sure. To prevent a 70,000 pound plunge, Merv and Jordan need to act fast. Mingle, we'll get it out of the ditch, get it back on the roadway without any significant damage. We'll go around. From the rotator's boom, they'll run lines to two drive axles to lift the tilting unit up onto the road. The biggest thing's hooking up to enough points to try to spread the load. Now rigged up, Merv triggers the lift. How's that box doing? Slow down. You definitely don't want to create a jerk or a sharp, hard movement. There we go. Fire it up. Yeah? Yeah. The weight is supported. But now Jordan needs... Did it have keys or no? ...to use the truck's own power... The ignition's in the on-ish position. ...to drive it back up to the road. We want it to roll it. I trust Jordan, 100%. We're creating forward momentum. I'm hoping we are. Pop the brakes. Okay. It is a pretty critical thing that I'm doing right now. Keep going, keep going. Fraser Valley. Oh, buddy. Merv and Jordan. Oh, God. I'm holding on. Fight to save a 70,000 pound truck on the brink. We definitely don't want the whole truck into the ditch. Any huge sudden movements, and this truck will come crashing down. But there aren't enough grounded tires. You don't think these on want to drive? To get forward momentum. Slowly on the clutch. With horsepower alone. I'm in low right now. We have to regroup and think some things over. The only other thing we could do is try to take the drag winch, wrap it to the back. Oh, that might work. Merv comes up with a possible save. It'll pull at a good three or four feet anyway. As tight as you can. I don't even care if the cable's right on the edge of the box. Yep. Try that. See what happens. By using my belly winch around the back, it'll give me that little bit of leverage to help push it forward. Brakes are off. With the extra line rigged. Okay, off. They try again to save the tippy rig. Top strap just jumped over the top of the box. We gotta be extra cautious on this one. Low gear. That front dip is on the ash ball. Just kind of take it slow. Move nice and easy. I'm gonna take the back line off, so just set the brakes. After gaining a crucial few feet. We only gotta get this truck to move a few more inches. Merv derigs the back winch. Turn your tires straight. We'll see if we can get that second dip right up, then we're good. For the final push. Okay. Brakes. It's a huge relief. That felt pretty good. It's out of the ditch. The only damage for a fully loaded truck almost rolling over is one tarp bar. That's it, though. That's not bad. OK. The driver can carry on with his night. I think the customer's pretty happy. He got his truck back. To be able to get it up, out, and back on its wheels makes me pretty happy. Good to know. For 
pretty impressive. The next morning. We're just heading out right now to a friend of mine in Abbotsford. Jamie Davis rolls into the Fraser Valley. I don't get down his way much. With highway hauling on his mind. This year, I'm really enjoying the recovery work that we're doing. But the long haul business has been our steady go-to business. At a tow yard in Abbotsford. I've known them for probably 10 years at least. Jamie arrives for a visit. Hello, Jamie. On hand to greet him. How you been? Good, good, good. <laughs> nice to see you. Is Kripal Banwat, owner of a family operation that specializes in heavy hauling and recovery, MSA towing. We do different long haul jobs back and forth. Yeah. They're great to deal with and friendly people. <laughs> I'm from India, Punjab. I was 29 years old when I came to Canada. I was really excited. It's a beautiful country. Married to his business partner and father to three sons, now fully grown. Kapal has a custom-built fleet ready for action. This has oh, been a good, good truck for you guys, hey? Yeah. Yep, this is what I seen you on the highway with. Yeah. Kerpal has a pretty rare wrecker. One of the first integrated wreckers that were built. And it's in nice shape, too. That's big. And in the bay. 35 ton. A special project catches Jamie's eye. MSA's building some new equipment right now. I'm particularly interested in one wrecker. This is huge. Yeah, we did all the weldings. My family, they were farmers back home. Because of my background, I can fix things. Wow. It reminds me of my yard, where I've got a whole yard full of projects. I can't believe that that's like brand new. Pretty cool. We might call you for help. No, no? you guys, you guys got a 50 ton. You got a good truck there. <laughs> Jamie, it's nice to have him here. Yeah, he's a good guy. I can offer you the chai tea. You know they have that at the Sopkins? Not, yes. not the same one. Oh, no? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Mine is special. I've got huge respect for their family and their business. We're in the same game. As Jamie heads back to Hope, he drove into the median. There's word of a crash on BC's busiest highway. Doing a job on a freeway like this, you're under the microscope, whether it's one of my trucks or MSA Towings. Answering the call in MSA's most powerful record. We're headed to right near Whatcom Road. Is Kerpal's oldest son, Gersharn. They go by G. I've been around towing from a very young age. Gersharn, he's a hard worker, like me. Let's see what we're up against tonight. Oh, yeah. But as G lays eyes on the scene, Sounds like somebody rolled her over. He sees. That's twisted, eh? This recovery will be a tricky deal. It's going to be a challenge. That's going to take a while. It's late, huh? Earlier today, the dump truck and trailer That's up. crashed during rush hour. The recovery was delayed Single lane right now. until traffic died down. But even at night, the highway is bustling. Hello, Andy. Within minutes, Kerpal arrives on scene. Oh, boy, boy, boy. The truck is standing 
on the wheels, but the trailer is flipped over. Okay, we have to disconnect this. We need to separate the trailer from the truck, get the truck out onto the road. But the connection point between the two units. That's not gonna release right now. It's too much pressure on there. Has a dangerous twist. There is a tension on the hook. The tension has to go somewhere. Oh boy, boy, boy. It's not easy. Now we're slowly rolling. Definitely crawling. Now they need to have it for sure, I guess. Lots of people all over. On the Trans Canada Highway. We have to winch this one up first. MSA towing. Let's unhook the transfer. Faces a high pressure wreck. That's not going to release right now. This tension is dangerous. It can hurt someone. To disconnect the dump truck from its twisted trailer. We might have to pry that lock open. Kerpal and G need backup. The part of unhooking it is that straightforward and simple. Now on scene. Sim, unload the excavator. Kerpal's middle son, Gersimran, or Sim. Sounds good. I grew up in Abbotsford. I'm born and raised a BC boy. Sim mobilizes an excavator on site. Push this one down. To try to relieve pressure by carefully nudging the connection point. Yep, that's the plan. There's a good twist in it. Hold the top part here with the hammer. Just hoping that it doesn't pop off and hit someone. The workaround. That's it. Dundee Monty. It's unhooked. Pays off. OK, boys. But now, the real mission begins. The truck is loaded. It's really hard to pull out from the ditch. Which line do you want to use? The further line over the top, and this line we can use this way. From the 50-ton wrecker. I think that's good enough. Father and sons get to work rigging. Just going to climb up right here. Being on scene with my dad. Throw that over top. Over top. It just brings more confidence. That's it, that's it. But raised in the family business. I already had the red sling out and ready to go before he told me to grab it. G is no stranger to dad's tips and tricks. I pick up on certain things and I keep my ears open. And hook that onto the frame like this. Okay. My dad. He is very knowledgeable. So the purpose of this sling. Everything that we know and that we do. To hold the truck. We have learned from him. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> to get the 70,000 pound unit back to the road. We're just about to pull the truck out. The dump truck's engine will be key. Fire it up, buddy. With the driver to help us. It will be out in a few minutes. But they discover... Is it out of fuel? The rig won't fire up. Oh, no, no, no. We finally have this truck ready to get pulled off the highway, and it's not starting. Holy! That's no good. Ah. An hour and a half northeast. This is almost funny. Can't see further off. At the Coquihalla's Box Canyon chain up. What a night already. 
11 inches of forecasted snow. That time of the year, man. It is. You know? Makes chaining up a must for big rigs. Got them right chained up. That's good. Highway supervisor Tom Agar's efforts. It'll take just one truck to screw it up for everybody, right? To get truckers prepared for the pass. Oh, you got some coming your way. Are panning out so far. Keep an eye on it there, I guess. See how it goes. But 40 minutes north. So does everybody know what's going on with this highway closure? Near the town of Merritt. They're blocking all three lanes. A semi slid into a second big rig, then spun out. It's too slippery. Behind the, uh, another driver is very fast. He never see. Looks like reliable towing is unseen. Called to clear the chaos. Okay, go forward. Is reliable towing's James Luke. Nice and slow. Conditions tonight are really poor. It's definitely not ideal to be driving on the highway. Don't stop, just keep going. The rig that spun out has inched away from the other semi involved, but can't get momentum. Okay, hold on. Southbound traffic back up. So as far as the eye can see. I'm gonna have to physically attach to this truck. I'm gonna pull you up out of the way, and then I gotta back down and grab him. Assisting James is a new team member. Okay, you're gonna have to guide me through here. Light duty tow op, Chris Barker. I'm a deck driver. The bigger wrecks are more complicated. I haven't really done a winter yet. This is my first one. Oh my God, is it cold? Chris's job is gonna be anything I tell him to do. James moves 30-ton black sheep into position. That was tight. Okay, you're gonna have to walk it out. Okay. And they get ready to take on the fully loaded transport. You got everything stopped here. Let the plow get through first. Yeah. Once I get this guy out of the way. Okay. But with the closure blocking highway maintenance. There's a large amount of snow on the road. James is in for a fight. Come on, buddy. South of Merritt. Come on, buddy. Oh. James struggles to lift off on the snow-covered coke. Couple plows in this way, though. Highways want it open as fast as possible. I gotta get one lane of traffic open. Not giving up. Come on, stay with me. Finally, James gets the semi rolling. I just want to keep moving, keep my momentum going. Come on, come on. With the first of two rigs on its way, maintenance crews squeeze by the accident scene. Now you're gonna follow coming up. They're out here making the road safe. Nice. Arriving at the top of the incline. We're on flat land. The guy should be good to drive. You guys safe travels? Check your chains. Keep them on. The rig can drive away. Damage to his truck and trailer are extremely minimal. Yeah, we're moving slowly, but we're moving. But the second semi involved in the crash is a different story. I think this one's gonna be a dead in the water pull. 
Normally when we do hill pulls, the tractors are actually physically helping us. So is this thing run at all? Unfortunately, that's not possible in this situation. His truck is damaged. Oh, he's already got a hook in. See where James needs me and see what we need to do to get this thing going. You know what? Wonder if I should just put two pins in and front end lift it. Lift the front end of his truck off the ground and use his drive axles to support the weight of the trailer. He could, dude. It'd be a lot smarter because it'd be putting a lot of weight on the back. Wow. Thinking outside the box, James will use his underlift. Look at that, he was like it was made to be. Instead of his winch line. That way, I have complete steering control over his truck. But. This is going to suck. James and his 30-ton wrecker are still up against 80,000 pounds of dead weight. A lot of things are running through my head right now. Am I gonna make it to the top? Is something gonna let go? This is not even funny. This truck does not want to move. The Black Sheep's a pretty strong truck. I have confidence in it. Slowly but surely, James's gamble gains traction. Is this ever heavy? I'm pretty impressed with how fast I got the highway cleared. Good Thanks, Lee. Everyone's happy. They're going home. To the west, in the Fraser Valley. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Leave it. A heavyweight wreck on the Trans-Canada Highway. Holy. Deals MSA towing an unexpected setback. We have to be off the freeway ASAP because the one lane is blocked. <sighs> but the dump truck, they need to help power itself out. All the fuel went into the other tank. Won't start. The truck being on uneven ground, fuel went to one tank. Leaving the tank that feeds the ignition system dry. How much air you got? Eight five. Okay, let's just try pulling. MSA will add a flat deck on scene. Come on, you can go in. To up their battle plan. We are not going to give up. We have to get the job done. That's it. The 50 ton and the flat deck will have one double line each rigged to the front of the dump truck, while a high line from the heavy stabilizes the unit as it's winched up the slope. You can crank it while we're pulling to steer. One truck can pull, and the same time, it can protect the truck not to flip over. One person steer it, one person crank it. But with 70,000 pounds of dead weight. Yeah, release it. Working the wheel. Okay, start steering it to the left. Yeah. Yeah. Is a two-person job. Got a boy, come on. Use those muscles. I need to make sure that we recover the wreck the best way possible. To the left, 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 hard, hard, hard. Crank it, crank it, crank it. Good, coming. The high strap holding the rig upright. High line. That's it, him, that's it, that's it. Yeah, it's coming. Keeps Kerpal on alert. That's it. Pull the brakes. There's no damage. Everything is good. The dump truck is on its way. 
but the biggest challenge so now we are going to have fun with that will be its trailer flipped on its side with 40,000 pounds of dirt still in the box we don't want to pull it and have all the weight working against us we have to get the dirt out Kerpal recruits the digger on site. Using the excavator, we can get the job done faster. Check it out. Hold on, hold on. But minutes into the cleanup, I feel something is not right. Holy fuck. That came off. We absolutely need this excavator. Damn it. It's no good. Now we're moving slowly. On the Trans Canada Highway. Damn it. It's no good. A major cleanup has gone off the rails for MSA towing. That came off. It's bad. It's very bad. The excavator was their ticket. Yeah, they're still working away. To quit clearance on BC's busiest highway. There's no way I can lift this thing. The flip trailer, weighed down by its load. Lots of dirt on. Can no longer be emptied with mechanical muscle. With the digger down for the count. This is brutal. So what we can do now? Kerpal's oldest son. Let's just pull your truck straight up like this and just flip it over. Wants to flip the trailer now. Working with my dad, we're always bouncing ideas off of each other. But Kerpal. That's lots of weight. Thinks it's too risky. Let's get the most of the dirt out. All the weight is sitting on the other wall. We didn't want to damage it. Let's try. Yeah. We have to empty the box by hand. So G rolls up his sleeves. We're shoveling nearly 20 tons of dirt out. We're going to be here for a while. Old school. Just got to muscle through it right now. Everybody is exhausted, but they are hard worker boys. Old-fashioned ways works. And Kerpal. Now it's my turn. Yeah, give it to me. Make sure to pitch in. Oh, okay. My dad, he's a hard worker. I am sweating. Definitely a rock star in my eyes. Hua, hua, hua. But with a pre-dawn rush, you out of traffic on Highway 1? It's back, bro. Starting to pick up. Yeah, that's it. The pressure is mounting. Most of the dirt is out. Now we can flip the box over. For the final stage. And one more in the back there. A medium-duty wrecker. That's it. Arrives on scene. Right, it's loose. Anyone know what's going on here? We have the big truck, 50 ton, and also we have uh, Hino, which is 12 ton. With a heavy and the medium duty, they'll try to finesse the partially loaded unit over in one piece. We have to be careful when we're pulling it over. Go on the top, go on the top, up, up, up. Yeah, right there. But to execute the flip. I'll just wait till you give me the signal. Yeah, wait for a big break in traffic. Okay. They need to shut the vital highway down. It's gonna be faster if I just go down we don't want to stop the traffic for a long time. That's the way people are pissed off. Okay, let's go. With 
Sam on the second record. We have to be very gentle on the controls and work together. G keeps a close eye on the weighed down unit. The last thing we want to have is further damage to the box. Stop, stop. Order. Anybody give me a road report on Highway 1? It was closed about five minutes ago. In the Fraser Valley. Stop, stop. Order. It's the moment of truth on MSA Towing's marathon recovery. You can't predict which way it'll move. Still partially loaded. Simma. The unit is tricky to control. Nice and soft. We don't want to damage it, the trailer or the box. Land is softer than I thought it would. My dad and I pulled it over nicely. I feel great. Okay, let's open the highway. Unhook the cables. Hurry up. Hurry up, please. Everybody is happy. Can we straight this hook or no? But there's one final mission. Oh yeah. <laughs> for the younger generation. Get boy. Uh, little more. <laughs> That's it. My thinking is the unity is the strength. <laughs> Seems like the key to tonight's wreck was muscle. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of them. Good job. Okay, good job, guys. Yahoo! Oh. Thank you, man. <laughs> Time to go home. The next morning. Brandon! In home. Okay, so just undo the chains in there, okay? I'll go do the other side. Jamie is grappling. What I have to do is unload this tractor and tow it into the city today. With a final leg of a highway haul. Aim the center of your boom for here. Doing long hauls is not without its issues. Brought in on a low bed. Keep going, keep going. The heavy duty tow is 10 tires short. Get the tires on, do whatever I need to do. Lift it up, right, and then drive it ahead. So I'm gonna lift now. Okay, we're clear. Helping today. Oh, my goodness. Is Jamie's stepson, Brent. This is Sunday family time. Now we got to get the tires off. Pop them over, buddy. That's why I brought the weightlifter with me. I hang out with Jamie quite a bit. It's actually pretty cool to get involved. Flying tires. Watch out. <laughs> family businesses are generations carrying it on. Now, with your left hand, you roll it up onto the bar. Yeah. Hard work, but it's part of the game. It's actually doing pretty good. A lot of times, you just want to give up, but you don't do it. Y'all done? Give me a headache, though. Holy smoke. If you ain't suffering, you're not living. No, if you're suffering, you're dying. No, you, suffering keeps you living. <laughs> no matter what comes in the way, no matter what's happening, you get it done. So we're good to go. And that's my Sunday. Next time on Highway Through Hell. He's lucky the whole unit stayed upright. A waterbound wreck 
Ooh, that's not good. Has Jamie's team on the rocks. Oh! Drop an earth. A priceless delivery. Three inches on mine. Is a supersized mission for Carrie. Oh, stop, 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 stop. And a back road miracle. We could have died. Puts Ken. We're gonna have a problem. On the edge. Hold on, hold on.